The way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me feel so holy Hi guys, so I know I'm like super sweaty But I want to do a get ready with me video And I can't like start once I've already showered and stuff I want to do my whole process, everything I do to get ready And so we're going to dinner, our reservation's at 6 But I think we're going in town a little early to go to Hobby Lobby so it's currently 12.48 and I'm going to get ready. So right now I'm going to shower and I'll be back once I've showered. Transition. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I just got out of the shower, brushed my hair. It's not really the middle part I want. I lost my comb. <gasps> Wait. It was in my purse. So now I'm going to comb I guess I don't have to comb it down the middle, but pretty close to it. Yeah. All right. So I am going to use this, these silk drops right here. And I'm just going to put not a lot because it will make your hair so greasy. So as you can see, just a little drop, rub it, rub it through like the ends of your hair work it up I wouldn't go higher than there I wouldn't um it says on it it'll make your hair greasy so I wouldn't but if you want to go ahead my hair gets greasy easily but it's also super thick so all right so I'm gonna use that and then I'm gonna use this which is, it's like a naturally straight, because my hair isn't, I would not say my hair is curly. Um, but the shampoo I do use is for curly hair. But my hair is like the wavy, the bottom layer is really curly, and then the top layer is just wavy and frizzy. So this kind of, since I'm going to straighten my hair, it's perfect to um, put in right before you um blow dry it and i don't buy my <laughs> i don't blow dry my hair super wet like this no that'll take me years i got the revlon blow dryer thing but i'm starving and i wasn't gonna eat lunch um i wasn't gonna eat lunch until at all today because we're gonna have a really big dinner but since I'm hungry, I have to eat something. This is a soft t-shirt. Um, I don't like putting my hair in a towel to dry. I just think it's hard on the hair. And if you use a soft t-shirt, I read it's better for your hair. Not really sure. So I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And right now I'm going to go get a snack. So. so now my hair is starting to dry. You can tell. Um, the blonde's coming through more, so I just kind of moisturize my face. This is what I use just because um, if I put this on too soon to putting on my makeup, it'll just, it won't stick. It'll look weird, so I always put it on right before I start my hair. All right, so to blow dry my hair, first thing I'm going to put in is this blowout spray. It's anti-frizz. I'm obsessed. I'm also going to put in this heat protectant okay now i'm gonna do my hair all right i'm literally obsessed with the revlon thing seriously so now i'm gonna just let my hair cool down um i think it's like 2 30 and then i'm gonna straighten it Okay, so this is my hair pretty straight. I'm going to go over it one more time. So now I'm going to do my makeup. Now, just warning all of you, I'm not a makeup artist. Uh, not even close. I watch all the artists, but I literally throw crap on my face. So if you're like watching me do my makeup and it's like, what is she doing? I'm probably thinking the same I'm gonna thing. I'm going to start off with the all night primer. This is a sample. I got it for free. Um, just to see if I like it. We'll see. Um, I've never really used a primer. 
which is probably why my face gets super oily. Cause it, it, it does, it gets really oily. And then like, if I go all day, I'll have to bring my powder and a brush just to like keep getting the liquid to look less pow um, dewy. Dewy is the word. Oh, especially like around my nose, my cheeks. Um, my forehead's pretty good. Okay, so usually I use the Fit Me Foundation, but as you can tell, this, okay, maybe you can't tell, but this shade, this one on, that one, is a lot lighter than my Fit Me's, and so it's just the one I use in the winter. I have no idea what brand this is. It's L'Oreal. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter the foundation. Um, as long as it's pretty good coverage, I don't care. Um, sometimes I'll mix it because I love my Fit Me. And I'll mix it so it's a little better coverage. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna <laughs> circles. Rub this in. Um, get down here. It's almost like I'm painting on my face. Like that's what I think about, which is just awesome. Okay, so now that that's on, that's what it looks like. Much of a difference? No. Is that okay? Yes. I don't want people to look at me and be like, oh my god, she has so much makeup on, you know? Okay, so now next I'm going to take my Smashbox Concealer in shade light, medium, cool. There's not a number. Um, this is like, I think it was like $25. It's lasted me so long, okay? It's literally lasted me forever. Um, I like it. I wish I could find a little, a more cheaper concealer. I'm so cheap, I'm sorry. But I just don't like spending a lot of my money on makeup unless it's palettes. From like, Jane's or Jeffrey or... Kylie, God, Kylie. So if it's palettes from those people, I'll spend the money, but if not, I really, I'm a Target drugstore. Okay, girl. So now that that's on, I'm gonna take this setting powder from O, I mean, A-O-A. -A. Never heard of her, no idea. And people don't set, oh my gosh, did you see that spill? Um, People don't set where I set, okay. I don't really know if people set under their eyes, um, but I don't set down here because, like, my eyes are the darkest part of my face, so I put it there. Yeah, it looks ridiculous, but I think it helps. I just started using it, actually. No idea where I got it. I found it when I was cleaning out my makeup, so I'm going to let that sit for a sec, and then I'm going to go in with dun, 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 dun. this elf you can't even read it because i've had it so long is the blush i use and then this maybelline new york is the bronzer i use and i used to use that highlight but now i have kylie which i'm obsessed okay i think that's been there long enough rub it out I think it really makes the concealer blend a lot more I love it I think it really worked all right <laughs> do I know I have no idea all right so now I'm going to contour my face which I never do let's just yeah like contouring um I just think it Okay. Mm. I might have to clean that up. I think it makes my face just look so dark. Everyone's like, oh yeah, I contour, but like, my face looks so dark after I contour, like, ugh. But we'll blend her and we'll clean it up if it's too rough. All right, so next is my blush. And I'm like, I think it's like the 60s. I'm like a 60s girl, like, I love a lot of blush. Like I'm actually obsessed and I just rub I just rub it in with my it's kind of how I blend it out 
think it looks fine. I add powder over all this, so it's really not that. Uh, why is it? I need a better blush, so if anybody has any suggestions, I like literally have to rub this so hard. And I also heard that blush is supposed to go like right here, but I don't care. Okay. It looks pretty good, I think. All right, so now I'm gonna go back in with that setting powder, cause. Oh, I think that's how you're supposed to do it. You're just supposed to. Hmm, I don't know, never done this. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And that'll clean that up. Don't know, we'll see in a sec. All right, so now what do we need? Oh, this is the powder I use. It is Clean Professional. It's number 110. I seriously bought this forever ago. This powder is amazing. It lasts me so long, and I use so much powder. Let's see if that works. I did a good job. I use so much powder. Um, I don't know why. I just, I think powder makes everything look better, personally. Um, yes, I like rub it on my face like a maniac. <laughs> Get some, tap it in there, rub it on my face. <laughs> if I wanted a natural look, I wouldn't have put on foundation. Oh, I didn't even blend that. Uh, and I wouldn't have put on um, all this stuff. All right, so this is my face, guys. Oh, that's a scratch. I'll cover that up. I'll cover this up. So I'll be right back because I'm going to do my eyes and everything. And that is going to take way too long for me to get on camera. I'm also going to get dressed. So I'll be right back. So I'm back. I did my eyeshadow. I don't really know if you can tell. Um, I did my lips. Lips was, oh, and highlighter. Highlighter by Kylie. Lips was 20 by Kylie. Um, also. And right now I'm going to do my uh, mascara real quick. And I'm running kind of behind, so I'm in a bit of a rush. I know I literally started getting ready at, like, 2 o'clock, but... It's just kind of what happens. I, like, lose track of time. Like, I start doing stuff and while well, my hair is drying and then I can't not finish it so that's awesome um, I'm just gonna go light on the mascara because I want people to see my eyeshadow because it literally took me 20 minutes to do that and that's probably not a lot but I don't really do eyeshadow like actually do eyeshadow I just like pick a color throw it on this was like I watched a video on how to do this look yeah, and my lipstick don't really know how I feel about it. I'll get used to it. Okay, so it's the final look. Oh, let me spray real quick. Okay, setting spray. Okay, this is my outfit. These shoes. Okay. Oh, where's okay. My purse, and we're ready to go, and I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this video um and i'm gonna be doing a lot of videos like this because this is what i enjoy doing this is also what i enjoy watching so thanks guys and i'll see you later